Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating a whole new series. We're going to be going over exactly how we can create a survival horror game from scratch. Now, we're going to be doing this entirely using blueprints inside of Unreal Engine 4. And throughout the series, we're going to be creating a variety of mechanics for the game, such as a true first person camera, a hunger system, progression systems where you can only get to areas if you obtain the key, um, and many many more things. Now hopefully over the uh, duration of this tutorial you'll get a better understanding of how you can create um, what is it, gameplay mechanics and use your existing knowledge of blueprints to create really cool stuff. Now before you watch this video I do highly advise that you go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. Now the reason for this is because I want you to easily follow along and pretty much just understand what I'm doing and then you can also you know take the lead and create stuff of your own. So if you haven't watched it go ahead and click it you uh, watch it using the thumbnail in the top left hand corner. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into creating the game. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is setting up the new project and we're also going to be going over how we can create, uh, well start creating our basic hunger system. So let's go ahead and dive into this. So first things first, we need to create a new project. So I'm just going to go to file, new project, or you can do this from your launcher and you just make sure you use the third person template. So the reason for this is because we're going to be working with a true third person camera, what we're going to be doing is essentially moving the camera, chucking it into the head so we can actually see the arms moving and all of that cool stuff. If we use the first person camera, we can't actually see the arms, it's just a gun and there's not really much of, uh, of the body left over. So we're going to use the third person, we're going to highly adjust the camera system to make it uh, you know, be exactly how we want it. So, now that we've got that selected, just go ahead and make sure it's set to desktop, maximum quality, and include the starter content, because everyone loves starter content, it's absolutely brilliant. So, now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and give it a project name. And for me, I'm just going to call this Survival Horror. And then just go ahead and press uh, create project. You can see I've already created one. Um, so what I'm going to do is instead of creating one now, I'm just going to go ahead and dive into the one that I got in the background. The reason for this is because it takes a while to actually load the project. So I've already done it, you know, prior to recording the video. So yeah, um, it's still pretty much a blank project and here we are. So first things first, let's go ahead and have a look around the project. So the main folder that we're going to be working with is our blueprints folder. And we got a third person character, and this is actually going to be where we create the majority of our mechanics. So we're just going to be playing around with the third person character, we're going to be moving things like the camera to actually get the true first person view that we're after, um, you know, the survival horror, not the survival, sorry, the hunger system is going to be in here. So for those of you that don't actually know what a, a hunger system is, um, it's essentially a system where the player has like a little hunger bar and the more the longer they go without the food uh, the lower the bar gets and once it gets down to zero when he's starving basically it's gonna pretty much just kill him off and with this system I'm gonna be showing you how to put in like an end game screen I'm also gonna show you how to get a progress bar for the hunger I'm also gonna create some fancy graphics for that as well inside of Photoshop and all the assets that I create for this series and this game, I'm also going to be linking down in the description, so make sure you do keep an eye on that. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start setting up the hunger system. So as always, stuff like this usually relies on some kind of variable. And for me, that's going to be inside the third person character, because this is the player character and it's probably the best place to store it for us. We can easily reference it too. So what I'm going to do is go into the content browser, go into third person BP, blueprints, and then just open up the third person character. From here, just go over to your viewport just so you can see what you're doing. And I'm going to create a new variable inside of here. So I'm going to press plus variable, and you can call this whatever you want, but just make sure you know that it's actually going to be used for your hunger system. So what I'm going to do is just name it player hunger. And I'm actually going to go and set this to an integer. And then I'm going to make sure I compile it. 
Now, the reason I'm setting it to an integer is so that it's going to be a number. We don't really need to go into uh, decimal places, so we don't need a float. So we're just going to use a simple system. We're pretty much going to have four bars for our hunger system. And so we're just going to knock it down by 25 each time. So what I'm going to do is just use an integer. And under the default value, I'm just going to go ahead and set this to 100. So if we want to knock off a quarter each time, what we'd probably do is just take away 25. So now that we've got this value, the player hunger, we need to start player playing around with it. So over time, what we need to do is actually knock off 25 off that value. So to do that, it's quite simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the event graph and every tick I'm going to fire off a sequence of uh, events, a sequence of functions. And these functions are going to essentially just knock off that 25 each time. So what I'm going to do is add in a delay. Now I don't want the player to die too quickly, so I'm going to uh, add a duration of something like 20 seconds. So basically every 20 seconds it's going to knock off that 25. So what we can do is essentially just do this. So set, uh, set player hunger and then we can just reduce it by 25. Now what we also need to do is run a branch just before we actually do this stuff. And this branch is essentially going to check whether or not the player has enough hunger to, to be alive and keep moving around. So what I'm going to do is drag out condition and just we're going to check whether or not the integer is greater than a value. So I'm going to chuck this in here and player hunger. I'm going to get a reference to that. And so long as it is greater than one, we're going to return true. Now false is when it isn't greater than one. It's where we're going to set up all of our stuff for our end game screen, you know, setting up player death and all of that cool stuff. So what we're going to do here is just go integer minus integer. And what we're going to be doing is getting the player hunger and then just uh, minusing it by 25. So we get rid of 25 each time. And what I'm also going to do quickly is just run a little print string just to you know, see what it set it down to. So if we just chuck this in here, move that over there, and under false, I'm also going to do something in here as well. Print string, and I'm just going to type in you died. We will making we will be making this a lot more fancy later on uh, in the later videos, but for now, this is just, I'm just going to set it up like this for testing purposes, and I'm also going to set the duration to this for five now, just for debugging to see whether or not this works for us. So I'm going to move that across to my other screen and I'm going to press play. And once it loads in, we should hopefully start seeing the player hunger going down in the top left hand corner. So it's gone down to 25. It's going to go down to 50. Should go down to 25 again in a second. And one last tick and hopefully it should also die. There you are, you died and the player is dead. Now we need to kill off the player. We need to add the end game screen and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but that's pretty much the basics for our hunger system. Now we will also be creating pickups for food and stuff where um, pretty much we're going to be doing the same thing as we've done here. We're basically going to be casting to the player and adding on to the player hunger value. So if he picks up a piece of food, we're going to, you know, add 50 to the value or add 25 instead of taking it away. Anyway, that is pretty much everything I wanted to go over in today's video. Make sure you stay tuned uh, and we will go over how we finish off the hunger system. There's plenty more videos on the way. So we've still got to set up the pickups for food. We've also got to set up the UI so we can actually show the progress bar on the screen for the hunger system. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.